Hello friends, welcome back to another video. If you're new and not subscribed, I'm Kayla Bame and you should really think about subscribing to my channel because the bestest, most greatest things in the world happen when you do that. So subscribe. For today's video, I am going to be doing something that I haven't done in a really long time. It's been I want to say a few months since the last time I did one of these videos and I don't know why but this was a video that everybody seemed to really like. I enjoyed making these videos, my mom enjoyed when I made these videos, so I decided to make one of these videos. Have you guessed what it is yet? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Kayla Bame Creations is back for another voiceover. Yes, today I'm going to be doing a voiceover on one of my mom's videos, the KB Creations. It was the decorative paper roll thingy that she did like a couple weeks ago. And the other day she came to me and she's like, you should do a voiceover on one of my videos again. Those were always fun. And when I was looking, I wanted to do a voiceover on that one because I thought it would be fun. So, KB Creations, Kayla Bim Creations, Kelly Barlow Creations, voiceover. Let's do it. Okay, party people, for this totally awesome DIY, you're gonna need a craft paper roll, but craft with a K, not a C. And then we're gonna need some of these really cool stencils, these stencils are folk art stencils, but it's not just one stencil. It's a value pack of 32 stencils. Look at all those stencils. Now, I know there was a lot of stencils in that pack. This is the one KB Creations chose. I personally probably would have chose the one that said Kitchen Eat with a yay next to it. But we all have our different styles, so we're just gonna go off of the one that KB used for her video. And we need to make sure this thing is nice and sturdy, okay? So we're just gonna use some blue painter's tape because I don't know if you guys knew this, but blue painter's tape is probably one of the most sturdy tapes you can use for securing your DIYs. And unless you're going for an abstract piece here, make sure this thing is nice and centered, get your rulers out, and make sure it's exactly in the middle of your paper. And we're gonna take a Waverly chalk paint in the color ink, and a little sponge dabber, not a paintbrush, a sponge dabber. So then we can go ahead and start dabbing on some of this paint to our stencil. And I don't know if you guys know this, I don't know if KB mentioned it in her video, but here's a fun behind the scenes fact for this DIY. One day KB and I were in Wingstop, and if you've ever been inside a Wingstop, you know they have a paper just like this one talking about how great their wings are. And KB Creations saw that sign and said, I'm gonna make a Wingstop farmhouse sign. So that was the inspiration behind this farmhouse DIY. Now it's time, this is probably everybody's favorite part, it is to remove the stencil and reveal the stencil underneath. This is everybody's favorite part. If you're saying this isn't your favorite part, I'm sorry, but you're lying. This is everybody's favorite part. And now, because our sponge dabber wasn't quite sufficient enough for getting all the way around the stencil, we are taking a regular paintbrush with our same farmhouse Waverly chalk paint and going back over the lettering. I have also just realized that I think KB actually wanted the letters to connect because the stencil didn't connect them. So that's what we're doing. We're making it cursive instead of a partially cursive lettering with gaps in between. And this is the base stencil, but KB thought, I want to add a little more, so she took parts of the stencil just to add a little more extra leaves around our saying. And look at that, isn't that just 
creative at its finest, okay? Adding parts of the stencil to make a better stencil. Crazy. Now you better hang on to your hats because we're getting really crazy now. You're gonna need a dustpan and some nautical rope. You're gonna hoop the rope through your dustpan, your, du your dustpan pole. What the heck did she call it in her video? That's a dustpan pole, okay? And of course, we're using hot glue. Remember, the rule is you have to sit there for a full 37 seconds in order for the hot glue to fully dry. Then you're gonna take your dustpan pole and shove it into your craft paper roll with a K. It's gonna be all the way at the other end, as you can see here, okay? And then you're gonna take some more hot glue, get the other end of your rope, and hot glue it to the other side of your dustpan pole. And remember, 37 seconds. If you don't stay there and hold it for exactly 37 seconds, it will not dry properly, it will fall off, and the hot glue loses its ability to glue things. It must be 37 seconds. And you're probably wondering, I don't want my dustpan pulled to be flopping around all over the place. Well, you're lucky because KB Creations thought of that issue. You're gonna tape the end of your craft paper with a K down to your dustpan pole so your dustpan pole isn't sliding around in your little roll of craft paper with a K. This is a genius way to make sure everything stays in its perfect place. And then you're just gonna roll it back up because this is the aesthetic look that we're going for here, people. These are paper clips. That's all, they're paper clips. And KB used these paper clips to paper clip the craft paper with a K to make sure that it's not rolling and unrolling all over the place. And now KB said if you want to roll it up, you can roll it up and just paper clip these bad boys together and that's how you can store this thing, I guess. Because paper clips not only just clip paper, they clip craft paper with a K. But we're not done just yet, party people. Get out another fresh craft paper roll with a K because we're going to give you another alternative to make your wing stop sign, okay? So this is a uh, cardstock or something. I'm not quite sure the difference between cardstock and vinyl. I am not a Cricut professional, okay, people? But you could see there my mom is weeding the weeding the, the cardstock because that sounds like something that Cricut users do. They weed the vinyl, right? Okay, I'm totally professional when it comes to the Cricut activities. But you're going to take this and it's going to spell out something about farmhouse because that is, that is the brand. It's a farmhouse brand, okay? And these special Cricut creations, of course, come from the lenders herself, okay? It's a cardstock. See, it says right there, cardstock die cuts. That's what they're called. But she has that somewhere on her Etsy store for digital download, and it's available, wow, look at that, in three different colors, black, white, or brown? If you ask me, that's pretty cool. And this is Linda's little Etsy shop here, so go buy that stuff. And if you're wondering where you can access the Etsy shop, we said in the description down below. Where exactly is the description? Well, people, right here, the part that says description. Scroll all the way down, in all caps, it says Linda's Etsy shop. That's where it is. Now, it's time to assemble this bad boy, okay? This is what it's gonna look like. KB set it up all nice and pretty. Now she's taking out a measuring tape because KB Creations, I don't know if you guys knew this, she is quite the perfectionist. So we're gonna make sure all the lettering is exactly perfect in the middle, in a line with each other, because it must be perfect. That's just the KB Creations way, people. Now, you're gonna take this can. It says spray adhesive. Um, I guess she wants you to know it's repositionable. 100 light. What does that mean? 100 light speed, general performance, oh, lightweight maybe? It's 100 pounds light, okay? And apparently you're just supposed to spray the back of these letters and you can go ahead and glue them on the paper. 
And if you mess up, it'll be okay because the can advertised that you could reposition it even after you stuck it down with their spray adhesive, okay? I personally only have access to Elmer's glue, so I'm going to use Elmer's glue when I do this project later. Um, just kidding, I'm not actually doing this project because we already have two of these things. KB Creations made them, we don't need another one. But... My personal favorite glue is the Elmer's glue stick that uh, goes on purple and dries clear when it's done. So if that's all you got, you do you, okay? You get that Elmer's glue stick and you make the best DIY of your life, people, okay? You don't let anything stop you. Not even your Elmer's glue stick. And thank you for coming to uh, Kayla Bame's Inspirational Quotes for the week. Now, of course we are. We're getting out our Distress Ink and Walnut Stain. That's kind of a weird color, but okay. Distressed Ink, Walnut Stain. And I just want you guys to guess how many of these Distressed Ink boxes KB Creations has. Leave a guess down in the comments down below how many of these ink boxes, the Distress Ink boxes, you think she has. And whoever has the correct number, I'll shout you out in my next video because... She probably has a lot, but boom, would you look at that. It's a farmhouse style wing stop paper roll. Isn't that crazy? Looks super farmhouse, super cool, but I don't know what else you were expecting from KB. Nothing less of perfection in farmhouse, okay? It's perfect. All right, that is it for today's video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave in the comments down below what you thought of today's voiceover, and if you would like to see more voiceovers of me doing a voiceover on one of my mom's DIYs in the future. These videos are just for fun. My mom actually really loves it when I do voiceovers on her DIYs. She thinks it's hilarious, so don't you think I'm being mean to my mom, okay? But I'll see you guys back here next time. Peace.